Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson uh, 30. In this lesson we are going to investigate uh, the behavior of tree footing under vertical load using Plax's uh, 3D. The soil model and the footing uh, dimensions are uh, shown in uh, these uh, two figures. The footing dimension is uh, 2 meter wide and 8 meter uh, long. So, uh, footing in uh, this shape when uh, the length of uh, the footing is uh, long or high compared to its uh, width, uh, it becomes a steep footing. And the soil contours uh, and the borehole uh, height also uh, is shown in here the soil geometry or the soil contour is uh, 20 meters by 20 meters and the soil uh, layer height is uh, 10 meter everything is uh, ready now and we can start the calculation okay as we can see the calculation is finished and we save uh, the model again and we click on view calculation results so this is a deformed shape of the problem and uh, the maximum uh, displacement is about uh, 2.2 centimeters and we can uh, see the vertical or uh, displacement in z direction we click on deformation, total displacement and z direction so we can uh, take a vertical cross section as well as we can see this is a vertical displacement of the strip uh, foundation maybe we can deactivate this one and also we can uh, we can see the Cartesian uh, total stress at Z direction like that and uh, also to see the moment and forces in the uh, foundation we just click on height surface load and we click on select structure and double click on the foundation so in here uh, the new menu appears which is force and we can uh, also uh, see the moment in uh, one one direction and the moment in the two two direction and also we can uh, check the shear force as well the next step we will uh, investigate the load displacement curve for uh, three different points which we selected before the calculation so we click on curve manager and click on new so uh, in the x direction we will have the load so we will choose a projected and multiplier and the sigma m stage and in the y direction uh, first of all we will choose uh, the point at the center of the strip footing uh, which is uh, this point and we will uh, select it, displacement at z direction okay and we will uh, deactivate the data from uh, first and second uh, construction uh, phase so we can see that the maximum uh, displacement is about uh, 
0.022 meters which is about 2.2 uh, centimeter at the center of the strip uh, footing now we will uh, also import the load displacement curve for uh, this point which is the right corner of the strip uh, foundation so we will just uh, right click on this figure and uh, add care from current project so uh, this one is uh, the right corner of the uh, foundation uh, the coordinate is 1 to minus 4 and 10 and ok again we also we can uh, rename each uh, figure the first one was center of the foundation and the second one was right corner and also we deactivate the data from initial and three foundation phase we can see that the displacement at uh, the corner edge or right corner edge is uh, lower than the displacement at the center of the foundation also we can import uh, the load displacement curve uh, for uh, this point also again we right click on the foundation and add curve from current project and uh, this time we will choose uh, this point ok and again right click also we can rename which is left corner of the foundation left corner and again we deactivate the data from initial and uh, strip footing so as we can see the displacement or load displacement curve at two corners are almost uh, similar but the displacement at uh, the center of the foundation is higher uh, about maybe one two centimeters also we can uh, convert uh, this uh, load displacement curve to excel uh, spreadsheet as I have already uh, exported so uh, this one is a load displacement curve at the center of the foundation which is about uh, 22 millimeter so uh, we just need the aim stage and UZ and we multiply the load by 350 kilonewton also we multiply the displacement by 1000 uh, to convert it from millimeters uh, to convert it from meters to millimeter also this one is uh, the right corner and this one is uh, the left uh, corner of the uh, foundation okay this was uh, for this tutorial and i hope it was clear thank you for watching see you in the next lesson